in the pilot, uh, you know, the group, this smaller group is away from the main camp. There's a lot of things are going on in the main camp as far as these conflicts about rules or no rules. You know, what does your character make of all this when he's sort of reunited with the larger group? Yeah, well, like you said, a lot of that is sort of developing as, oh, when he's reunited. Yeah, with yeah. They all have to sort of figure it out as they go. It's all brand new. So, um, the thing about Finn is that he's kind of able to uh, more easily than some of the other characters, like drift between the groups, flexibility about him. It's um, partly because everyone admires him because of uh, other things that took place on the arc beforehand. He's kind of like a hero. So while there's like this new game fighting starts to happen, he is sort of not a part of that immediate conflict. Um, and I think that's sort of why he decides to hit the road right when he gets to the island and to do what he likes to do best, which is like the most important. What kind of dangers are they encountering on the road? No roads. Well, like the first danger is sort of like what I was just saying about how everything is totally new. Um, I mean, it's sort of one thing to kind of like say it, but to really imagine what it would be like to have never set foot on the earth, to never breathe real air, all of that stuff is is part of it, and then of course there are more like specific pitfalls. Um, what do you find to connect with with your character or even his situation, just because it is such a fantastical concept? How are you finding things to connect with with either Finn or with the situation he's in? Yeah, but it's useful to help, like have tools. You know, like you start to actually really think about stuff to look really closely at stuff that you sort of take for granted all the time that you put your head into it. Like, for example, this banana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, there was a scene in the pilot that got cut, um, replaced by a better scene, I suppose, but it was, um, they find themselves walking through an orchard, or I think this is what we call it an orchard, sort of a wild apple orchard, and one of the characters takes this apple and sort of marvels at it, and that's the point. I think they got rid of it because it was a little bit um, on the nose or sort of hand fisted kind of thing about you know, Adam, Eve, Apple, all that stuff was, was a little bit too much, but I liked it. I kind of thought about it a lot of fruit. What does Finn bring to the group? Like, what skills does he bring to their survival? Um, well, Finn's pretty intrepid and ready to go, so there's that um, to start out with. And courage is important. Um, and that's sort of the first thing that you understand about him is, uh, well, you sort of understand him in that he is uh, the kind of guy who goes his own way. He's not really played by the rules of dealing that's why he's in jail to begin with. Um, <coughs> so you sort of start to understand his courage through that. He's out law. And as the show goes on, you learn more about him and what he can do. Uh, it's not specific like Monty's character, who you start to understand as like uh, he's like a technician very valuable specifically in communicating with the art and stuff. Finn doesn't have that specifically in kind of the Monty was uh, communications and agriculture on the art. Finn is a little less clear. Which makes him fun to watch, I hope.